Hey everybody. So yesterday we chopped a bunch of corn, filled a bunker out there, and then two upright silos. So now this morning we're gonna have to get these silos leveled off and get the unloaders set up. So it's gonna be a bit of work. First thing we're gonna do is hook up to our old blower. It works good as a fan to keep fresh air up in the silo. We're gonna start with the silo at the heifer farm, which is just less than a quarter mile down the road. We got the blower running just to get fresh air up there because silage will create a gas as it starts to uh, ferment. We want to make sure we're safe and have fresh air. I'm going to go ahead and climb up the chute on the inside and open up a door so we can get into the feed. So I started tapping on the doors once I got close to the top. It's hollowed out here so we'll open this one up. up the outside so we can level this feed. leveled out. Now I have dad cranking the unloader down so it's coming down slowly. So I've had people ask if it's safe to be standing in silos like this. The silos that are dangerous are dry grain bins. Once they start feeding out of the bottom there can be a cavity that creates and then it can sink down in. But with forges like this it's safe. It can't do that. So it's not dangerous to be in here at all. The main thing would be if there's gases but we have the blower running to get the gas cleared out so it's it's fine. About two more feet. This is a ring drive unloader. So it, uh, it's suspended on three cables right there, right there, and here's one up to the top. And then that cable wraps down the way to the bottom. That's where the winch is at the bottom of the silo. And it'll be driven around, around this ring then. There's a sprocket that runs on these poles right here and we'll drive the unloader around. First we're going to clean it off, get this feed off of it, that blow on top of it, and then we'll set it up. So this part up here is not normally here. This is a new auger and casing for it. They want to replace this, but it is, uh, the guys that work on them are busy right now, so they just chained this on here when the unloader was at the bottom so it was easier to get it in so they didn't have to pull it up to the top. 
right, so now we're gonna set this gear snack up and just a couple little things and we're ready to run it. We ran out enough feed for today's feeding. The way this feed stays fresh in these silos is the top has to be fed every day. This is the only feed that's open to oxygen and if you feed off every day it'll stay fresh and it won't go bad on you. With upright silos like this the feed packs itself with the weight from the feed above and everything underneath is sealed, the side walls in the bottom. So the only place there's air would be here on top. But yeah, silos are a good way to store feed. It's good quality feed out of here. Uh, it's just a little bit of work to climb up here and set everything up, but we just have our power cord coming up and then this chain chains out there to keep this from spinning. And uh, we got the gooseneck chained out there as well. So then as we feed down, we'll have to come up it's about every couple weeks and open up the next door. There's doors every four feet like that the whole way down. So we'll have to open up the next door once we get down there and move the gooseneck down the door and just keep working our way down. The feed just falls the whole way down the chute and there's a conveyor at the bottom that takes it to the feed mixer. Okay, one silo's done. Now we're gonna head up to the home farm and do the other silo. the unloader. I'm gonna let that know and we'll drop it down. This unloader is built differently than the other one so it's a little bit more to get going, a little bit more work. so it actually sits on the feed unlike the other one and then drives so it's just one cable I'm gonna disconnect it from this part put it over here in the center
this arm is on, this wheel right against the wall once we get it centered. Now I just need to lift this gooseneck up to the door. We got it going. This unloader, we just had some work done on it. Got two new wheels there and that wheel replaced. And also the housing for the blower is new. This piece right there. But this unloader is a different style. It's a chain on it instead of an auger. That pulls it into the center of the blower. And it works pretty good. Corn silage is easy on these blowers. If you have halogen in here, we seem to have a little more issues with it. I like the ring drive unloaders a little more because you can lift the whole thing off the feed uh, to help it get through a tough section. This one is actually sitting on the feed, so you can lift a little bit from the center, but the end's gonna stay out there. So you just have to make sure you get the feed leveled good and then it just drives around on its own. But once it's working, this one's pretty nice. Works pretty good. This silo, the reason we put it in the silo rather than the bunk is this is a non-BMR corn. We had a little bit of extra. We decided to put it in here. We're gonna feed it to the heifers and then the cows will add just a thousand pounds or 1,500 to each mix and kind of mix it in. It's not quite as good a feed as the corn silage out of the bunkers, the, the BMR corn silage, but I'm gonna climb out of here. Thanks a lot for watching, appreciate it guys.